Hello everybody and welcome to the statistics topic, rules of addition and joint probability. So now, the rules of addition for computing probabilities are two. The first one is the special rule of addition, which is if two events A and B are mutually exclusive, the probability of one or the other events occurring equals the sum of the probabilities which is the probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B. Now, a couple of things to see here. One is, what is this mutually exclusive? What does this mean? Okay, so this we're seeing that in this Venn diagram where you have events A and events B. They are not touching each other. This is called mutually exclusive. Either you do one or you do the other. This or, when we're talking about probabilities, means that you're adding. Or means plus. Okay, and these are events that are not um, happening at the same time. For example, if you're coming to class, you either are on time or you are late. You cannot be on time and late at the same time. Either you do one or you do the other. So when you're having the probability of one event or another, you add them up. All right. The second rule is the general rule of addition. If A and B are two events that are not mutually exclusive, then the probability of A or B is given by the following formula. Probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So how is this different from the rule above? Here we're seeing that events are not mutually exclusive. What does that mean? It means that they have an area in which both items are happening at the same time. Okay, so that when you have two events that are uh, that have that are over, overlapping each other, that's called non-mutually exclusive. And you have that the formula um, changes from the one above by having the subtraction of this joint. This is called a joint. The probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus any kind of joint that they may have. Okay, these little um, diagrams on the side are called Venn diagrams. Okay, so let's see one example for the special rule of addition. And the special rule of addition is the one we use, we use for mutually exclusive. Probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B. And mutually exclusive is, with, is when two um, events are not happening at the same time. It's either one or another. Okay, so let's see. The probability that a student will score an A in the class is 25%. The probability that it will score a B in the class is 40%. What is the probability that the student will get a grade above C? So either you get an A in the class or you get a B in the class. But you cannot get an A and a B at the same time. So following the formula, the probability of getting an A or getting a B is equal to the probability of getting an A plus the probability of getting a B. And again, this is mutually exclusive. You cannot get an A and a B in the class at the same time. You either get one or you get another. Probability of A is 25%, which in probability is 0.25. Probability of getting a B is 40%, which is 0 0.40. This is equal to 0 0.65. Um, probability is a number that is between 0 and 1. Nothing above 1, nothing below 0. All right, let's see the other rule, the general rule of addition, of addition which is the one used when events are not mutually exclusive which means they have a joint and if there's a joint then on the formula is here you need to subtract that joint let's see the study revealed that 50 percent of tourists in dubai visit 
Burj Khalifa. 30% visit Burj Al Arab and 15% visit both places. So you have here 15% of the tourists in Dubai do both. Go, go to Burj, Burj Khalifa and go to Burj Al Arab. What is the probability a selected person visited either Burj Khalifa or Burj Al Arab? Okay, so these are events that are not mutually exclusive. There are people that have gone to both. So this is the probability of people going to Burj Khalifa. This is the probability of people going to Burj Al Arab. And then you have a percentage that did both. Okay, so the probability of going to see, um, sorry, Burj Khalifa. Here we go. Let me raise that B and make it a little nice. Burj Khalifa or Burj Al Arab is equal to the probability of Burj Khalifa plus the probability of Burj Al Arab minus this joint here, the probability of Burj Khalifa and Burj Al Arab. Okay, so let's put that in numbers and this is 0 0.5 plus. 0 0.3 minus 0.15 of the joint. So this is 8, 0 0.65. Okay. All right. So we've already mentioned this. Joint probability. The joint probability is a probability that measures the likelihood of two or more events happening. Like in the one exercise that we just finished, right? We had this joint here. The probability that people went to Burj Khalifa and Burj Al Arab at the same time. That's a joint. This area here, represented by the middle. This is a joint. This is where event A and B are happening at the same time. In this particular um, diagram, there are only two. But there could be a third or a fourth diagram. What if, I, if, what if there's a C here? Right? Then you have a joint here between A, B, C, you have a joint here between A and C, and you have a joint here between B and C, right? What if we have another one there? Again, you have a joint here between, let's call it D. This is a joint between A and D. This is a joint between A, B, and D. This is a joint between D and B. Yeah, so you just have to follow and see which events are happening at the same time. All right. So uh, to summarize what we just seen, uh, when you have, when you're adding probabilities, you need to determine whether the events are mutually exclusive or not. Mutually exclusive means that the events are not happening at the same time. So one or another. If they're mutually exclusive, which is here, what I'm trying to uh, depict on this one picture, there's no joint. Events are not happening at the same time. Either you have A or you have B, okay? If the events are mutually exclusive, then the joint probability is zero. Probability of A and B is zero, there's no joint. In this case, we use the special rule of probability addition, which is the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. If the event is mutually exclusive, which means there is a joint, Then we use the general rule of probability addition, which is the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B, which is the joint. You need to take it out. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. I uh, hope this quick summary cleared your doubts. Thank you so much and have a great day.